Namaste everyone. Welcome to GitHub Satellite. GitHub is a place where people build software. Every day, millions of developers use GitHub to create things that touch billions of people. To be at GitHub is an awesome responsibility. And I lead the chat ops integration team in GitHub, building products like Slack and Teams GitHub app with a goal to amplify engineering productivity. I am Satish, Satish Nankani. Let's start with numbers. ChatOps is a team of nine engineers and the team has done 80 deployments in last four weeks, making the average to four deployments per working day. It is truly awesome from a DevOps metrics point of view. I let you all guess what the other four numbers are and post your answers in the GitHub discussion our Twitter and use hashtag GitHub satellite. There is a story behind these numbers that makes them magical and absolutely motivating for my team. The story of emotions started last year in March 2020 and I still remember sitting in a conference room with leadership team pitching the idea to build the vision of building a unified chat ops platform. My team was super excited to build this vision. Project execution barely started. And everyone in the company was asked to work from home due to pandemic. Major blow to team collaboration resulted in reduced team velocity. Keeping the team velocity aside, every engineer was going through varying emotions, making them feel anxious, isolated, annoyed, worried, and sometimes frozen and stuck. But this is past. Coming back to present, we are just a couple of weeks away from shipping our fourth deliverable and making the vision a reality in April, in the next couple of weeks. I'm super excited to share the journey of unified chat. I'm super excited for my team's journey and give a walkthrough of how GitHub uses GitHub for collaboration. I mean, inclusive collaboration and along the way, share practices and processes in engineering that help us shift faster, whether we work from home or office. In simple words, collaboration means working with others. By end of this session, we will learn about eight key elements to enable an effective and inclusive collaboration, collaborative culture in organization using GitHub. The code that powers github.com mostly resides in a mono repo. It's surprising, but that's the fact. And to enable team economy, every team own repository setup specifically for the issues and team documentation, allowing them to tune their day-to-day -day process. There are also teams which maintain their code in dedicated repo. I have got a picture of Slack repository, which stores the chat ops code and the team has enabled almost all the features of GitHub. Structurally, everything in GitHub organization starts with the repository. There is a repository for everything, literally, for onboarding, job posting, benefits, values, even entitlements are maintained in a repository. The best part of this setup is it helps everyone in the company to find the information quickly and easily. Planning and tracking is standardized across teams in GitHub. The goals translate into small, consistently sized issues classified as initiatives, epics, features, and tasks to track work across all of engineering. And this facilitates us to speak a consistent language in terms of scoping and prioritization while collaborating with teams. Project boards are used across teams to organize and prioritize the work. Project boards are made up of issues, pull requests, and notes that are categorized as cards in different columns. 
team project boards are accessible across organization and anybody in github can discover this project board easily just by searching and they can start collaborating either by subscribing to an issue of their interest or maybe share their thoughts or comments to enhance the feature if something is a priority yes it's a priority for the whole team and we limit the number of in progress epics to two for a team of size eight and this has been a great way to have a focused execution on delivering high customer value faster we have seen increased team bonding as there is developer engagement among team as there is deeper engagement among team members to work together closely towards a common and shared goal issue templates issue templates play a vital bringing consistency by customization and standardization of the information captured in github issues when they are created let's take an example of a github issue which is created using epics which is created using templates the labels are automatically included when an issue is opened using templates labels are used to classify different types of issues epic feature and others and issues can have as many labels as we want a epic is focused on a specific problem statement and epic acts as a shared goal for a group of engineers working on it and epic is a group of features captured as task list in description and task list as clickable check boxes we just go and select and unselect this check boxes to track the progress of if a feature is complete or not and these help us to track the progress easily with minimal follow ups and if you see there are milestones set which sets the right expectation with the stakeholders on when this epic is going to be shipped and the same epic shows up in multiple project dashboards for tracking at different management levels if you see the ce chat ops project dashboard is the dashboard owned by my team apart from that this epic is also getting tracked into two other dashboards moving to feature a feature acts as a unit of work for around 2 weeks and anything greater than 2 weeks is moved to different feature thereby enabling us to do work parallelization so in this way we can have multiple engineers working on the same epic and different features a feature is usually assigned to one engineer giving them an opportunity to take complete accountability to drive the feature to completion and feature is a group of tasks and similarly the way we use in apex we make use of task list to track the progress of all these tasks the best part of using task list here is we have something called definition of done and capturing a list of tasks to be completed as task list sets the right expectation with the engineer working on the feature in terms of what needs to be completed and features only show up in the team dashboard but no one is stopping them to monitor in our dashboards too and features are shipped as and when they are complete empowering the team to ship often iterate fast and encourage calculated risk taking unlike a big feature is only tracked in team level project dashboard as i mentioned when is the discussion happening all the action happens in issues github issues let's take an example of a issue created in a bug bash done by the team the issue was created by a product manager putting a title and the details in the description and then a senior engineer triages the issue and the engineer question and makes use of the at mention functionality to start the collaboration from github issues at mention results in sending a notification to the engineer who was mentioned and at mentions provide a flexible way to get the right people involved in the issue once the engineer gets the notification they click the link available in the notification come back to get a issue and the collaboration starts from there and if you can see the bug was closed in the same day and primarily because the entire collaboration started from github issue and 
apart from getting things done, capturing everything at one place in GitHub issues helps us to maintain the context and the history of actions, which enables information discovery and the decisions taken can be referred in the future. By the way, if you are wondering what all goes into the issue, then literally everything is captured, every detail from spec clarification, design proposals, design chatter, meeting notes, decision taken, literally everything. We also use discussions. Discussions are used for brainstorming when there are new initiatives and when we know it's going to take longer. They're also used for team building. Like, how was the weekend? What were you doing? What's your plan for the coming weekend? And all these gets into discussion. Discussions are we use not only for technical, but also for fun elements and increasing the collaboration in the team. Now, how do we keep everybody in the entire organization to be aligned on the status? And we have a concept of status update comment. It is just like a comment on the epic, which covers the status, whether it is red, green, or yellow, towards the projected ship date. Apart from that, we encourage having video, demo video links, and these demo video links can be from anywhere. It could be a small working prototype coming from a developer environment, our production, our staging. They don't need to be only collected or recorded in production. And we believe in demos and not memos. So the other part of standard status update is risks and mitigations. This helps us to set right expectation with our stakeholders and we call out dependencies, dependencies and risks that we have, which can delay our ship date. And we also share the mitigation plan. Moving to next, once the design is closed, the core part of the engineer who wants to go and develop and ship the product as soon as possible. In the whole exercise of shipping this after coding, I want to talk about a bit chat ops. Chat ops is about conversation driven development by bringing the tools into conversation. Every organization or most of the organization makes use of Slack and Teams for day to day interactions in chat. And chat ops is one which brings all the tools and processes into the conversation where the engineers are. This is an example of a pull request created by an engineer. We encourage engineers to capture design changes and also user experience. And if the change results in a user experience change, then putting before and after experience helps the reviewers to get the context and review faster. This PR is also linked to an issue. And as soon as this PR is merged, that issue will get automatically closed. The PR is assigned to reviewers and to make sure none of the PRs are getting into production without review, we have branch protection rules set on our repository, which helps us to ensure that every line of code getting into production is reviewed by the engineer. Apart from this, the quality is also baked into the whole PR workflow process. We leverage actions and actions help us to automate, customize and execute our software development workflows. These are the list of actions available in my team's repository. And to give an example, we use code coverage as part of our PR workflow. And as soon as a PR is raised, the code coverage tool runs and post the outcome of that in a tabular format. And if there is a dip of even 0.5% in unit test coverage, then the PR, even if it's approved, it can't be merged. Okay, now let's go to the PR workflow. The author creates the PR and adds reviewers. And then the reviewer receives the request notification on Slack GitHub app. Slack GitHub app is the chat ops offering from GitHub. Apart from Slack, we also have Teams GitHub app available in the Teams marketplace. So once the notification is received by the reviewer, they navigate to the PR from the link in the notification, reviews the PR and leaves the comment for changes. And once the comments are left, in this case, the reviewer is asking for a couple of changes from the author. And then the author receives the notification and modifies, comes, addresses the PR comment, then Ed mentions the reviewer, 
since the comments are addressed. The reviewer gets a notification, goes to the PR, reviews the changes and approves the PR. That's it. And once the PR is approved, uh, the author of the PR gets a notification on the GitHub app. Now what next? The PR is approved, code is ready to get birthed, deployed in production. And deployment in one way is a complex process if even there is a new engineer in the team, right? They need to understand a lot. But in GitHub, deployments are simplified, right? Now I'm going to show you the real power of chat ops. The engineer in this case heads to chat ops of Slack channel and delegates the work of deployment by running a simple dot deploy command. The work is delegated to none other than Hubot. Hubot is GitHub's most friendly, efficient and collaborative employee. Almost every GitHub developer interacts with Hubot literally every day, multiple times. And Hubot is a robot. We just ask the Hubot to do the deployment with a single command and the job is taken care. The deployment is done. What next? Time for a party. The engineer is super happy and the engineer goes to the channel and shares the completion of the epic with team. The team starts to sparkle the engineers who contributed towards team goal by shipping the epic. The dot, dot sparkle command that you are seeing on the screen is a Hubot command used to recognize team members effort. Hubot not only does complex things, it plays an instrumental role in bringing fun and spread joy within the organization. This brings me back to how ChatOps team used GitHub for collaboration. As I said earlier, it was an emotional journey when I think about the last year when we started in March. And the team used GitHub for collaboration and the project helped us to navigate our transition from our emotions of isolation, nervousness, helplessness, out of control, to being creative, confident, inquisitive, amazed, and joyful. Now let's do a quick recap. Here is the glimpse of GitHub features showcased in this session. Embracing the right practices and processes along with these GitHub features act as a catalyst in boosting the key elements of collaboration and creates a culture of effective and inclusive collaboration in an organization. Moving to the puzzle. I'm hoping everyone was able to crack this and post the answers either in GitHub discussion or on Twitter. Let me decode this for you. As I said, 80 deployments by team in last four weeks, making an average of four deployments per working day. The rest of the numbers are, and you're able to achieve this 80 deployments by working on 66 issues, which were closed in last four weeks, 351 issue comments, which shows the amount of collaboration we do on these issues. 72 PRs were raised and almost every PR lands into production. 253 PR comments to ensure the code is sent with high quality. That's it from my side. Thank you. Oh my God, Satish. What an amazing rendition of that one year journey. Hats off to you for that. And what those numbers really blew my mind up, right? Before we jump into Q&A, we heard that you are in-house rapper at GitHub. So will you just do a small bit for us and all our viewers right away? Are you sure you want me to do that? 100% waiting for it, Ratish. Okay. I have to get in the mood first then. Code issues, PR discussions are action. Code issues, PR discussions are actions. Every feature is built with passion. It mentions and notifications enables inclusive collaboration. Oh, my future generation, do check out GitHub Education. Code Spaces is the new workstation. GitHub is developers' ultimate destination. Ultimate destination. What a drum roll! Oh, what wow. a drum roll! That Amazing. was <laughs> yes, like 
Once more, once more. That was awesome, Satish. I love it. We should record. Yeah, by the way, I, am, I don't rap. I just try to rhyme lines. Come on, it was amazing. It was amazing. Let's submit to Q&A now. We got a bunch for you. Divya. I have to now get back in the zone to ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure. so you talked about uh, the emotional journey. What was the biggest turning point there for you as well as your team? Yeah, so if I recollect correctly, to be very honest, personally, I was also struggling through, the, through that phase, right? Uh, this was the second time in my entire professional career where I was feeling helpless and out of control to help my team. And if I have to think what help really, it's not a big thing. But I think the weekly check-ins that we started after our scrum every Monday, we have scrum every day, right? And then we started this way of interacting with folks, doing a weekly check-in on Mondays, where we used to share with each other how everyone is go what everyone is going through, just speak out. And what is working for them? That's it, right? And this whole concept made everyone realize everyone is going through the same phase. We are not alone. The whole world is going through this. And we need to work together as a team to find out how to come out of or how to handle this unprecedented, complicated, and hard situation that the whole world started seeing last year. So if I have to pick one thing, then it was that weekly check-ins that we started doing with the team. Very insightful. Thanks for being so honest and transparently kind of bringing these and talking about these things. We got one more for you. What was the most challenging key element in leveling up on collaboration across the teams? Interesting. So what I showed was eight key elements of collaboration. See, in simplicity, collaboration means working with others. But that is not that easy when we work with like 2,000 people in the organization or even when we work with 10 people or when we have five people at home, right? The most challenging one is always bringing in that inclusion part in the whole collaboration story. That is the most difficult one. We talk about diversity a lot, right? But if there is no inclusion, it is very difficult to make the diversity successful in an environment. And this is something that we achieved by writing a lot in this async mode. And we started sharing and putting those in discussions, issues everywhere, where the team was able to see who is doing what, and they had an opportunity to come back, read about the proposals, share their thoughts and contribute and share their diverse opinions. In this way, as a team, able to come to a inclusive and conclusive conclusion. Yeah, but it's a journey. We are fully not there yet. We are still learning. It's not that we are perfect, but I'm extremely happy to see the graph, the way it went up. And we are still learning and there's a lot to learn. And GitHub is the way to make use of all these in the right way to make everything successful. I'm joyful too. Thank you, Satish. Thank you again for your vulnerability and sharing from your heart. Uh, this was really insightful. And again, things that everybody around us can learn as well. Again, thank you for a great session. And remember folks, Satish will be with us in discussions. You can have your heart to heart chats with him there as well and ask him all the questions. Folks, discuss with Satish on discussions. Thank you. Thank you again, Satish. Bye-bye. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.